There are three aspects to your mind or your consciousness, and each of them is seeking a different experience. Your unconscious mind is the most uh, powerful when it comes to creating a life you love because your unconscious is what will allow you to have what you have in your life. Your unconscious seeks survival. It seeks survival through safety and belonging. And so what it wants is to continually repeat what it's already uh, experienced. It believes if I've already experienced it, then it is safe and I will not lose belonging to my family. I will survive it. The unconscious does not want to change. It does not care how much you hurt. It doesn't care how much your life isn't the way you think you want it. It just cares, have you survived? For example, if you grow up and and your life is full of shame, toxic shame, you won't die from toxic shame. And so the unconscious learns, the way that I belong in this family is to get shamed. That's how I belong. That's my place here. And so I'm going to keep finding ways to feel shamed and I will survive. And that's how I belong. And you can repeat, uh, you can take out shame with abuse or, or, or scarcity or overwork. You could say the way that I belong is I, is I work really hard and I sacrifice and I give or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be so negative, but whatever it is, it's your unconscious will continually find it. For me, My unconscious continually wanted to find places where I wasn't good enough and I needed to prove that I was the best. That was it. I would always just find a way to be competitive and not be good enough and just try to overwork, 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 overwork to get somewhere else. Many uh, continually have an experience of never feeling like they're fully healthy. They've always got a health condition. It's their unconscious creating that. Now, the other part of our consciousness is our self-conscious. Our self-conscious always wants the best in life. It wants the ideal. Now it comes on board at about seven years old and it wants a great life. It wants a good life. Mostly it wants different. It wants new. It wants quality. It's the opposite of the unconscious. The unconscious just wants to do exactly what it's always done and to stay alive. Whereas the self-conscious thinks it wants to do this and it wants to do that. It wants to make more money and it wants to change change jobs and change relationships and, and go overseas and experience new, new, new. And so if you've ever felt that there's one part of you that really wants to go for it in life and, and you know make changes and, and uh, then another part of you just seems to hold you, hold you back. This is what's happening. The unconscious just wants to do what it's always done and the self-conscious wants to go out there and create something new. And so there's this, uh, you know, uh, as, as long as humans have been on the planet, there's this cosmic joke that we have this unconscious critter brain that seeks survival and a self-conscious brain that seeks thriving, right? One just wants to survive, one wants to thrive, and there's this conscious battle going on all the time. Many try to fix this and, uh, and see it as wrong, but it's just about how we are. There is a third level of consciousness. The third level of consciousness is our higher mind, our higher intelligence. I like to call it your super conscious. It's where your ideas come from, inspiration, genius comes from. It is where all transformational healing resides. It is it is showing up in simultaneous invention where two people on other sides of the planet have the same idea. It's where your intuition is. It's an incredible part. Now, this part of you doesn't, doesn't care about a good life. There's no I, no concept of a good life. In fact, it's a creative energy that's going to move on to wherever it moves on to next. And it, it doesn't care about survival because it's, it's a creative energy. It's a higher mind. And this part of you is just here. It's, it's there. And all it wants to do is it wants to experience its ideas. It wants to take its highest purpose, its creative, and it wants to see them in reality. See, that higher mind... Uh, is is the all. And if you're the all, you're, you actually can't experience anything. So this mind comes up the ideas of the internet or Facebook or Zoom or poetry or language or buildings or art, and it wants to see that created, you see? It wants to see that manifest, whereas the self-conscious wants this good life based on however you grew up in whatever society. The unconscious just wants to survive. The super conscious, super conscious wants to create and give it to other humans. And this is your truest nature and purpose is to, to come up with, uh, with, with new, new ideas, new music, new poetry, new recipes, new food, new, new sports games, and, and then give that to others and experience it. And so we have these three minds. Whichever one that you give the power to is how your life will turn out. 
If you put the power in your unconscious, your life will just be about safety. You'll continually repeat again and again what you've always had. You'll belong in your family system through however uh, you found a way to belong, right? Whether that's through scarcity or overworking or trying to be perfect. If you put the power in your self-conscious, what you'll do is you'll always try to have the best life, the better life, the best this, and, and you'll, you'll create based on whatever in society you think is the best life. If you put your focus on your super conscious, you will live your highest potential. You'll be a creator and you'll be full of purpose. You'll transform your body and you'll create magic. Those are the three different aspects of your consciousness and your mind. 